Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, The Crafty Closet. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to split vinyl and then we're going to put it together to make one cohesive image. So for this project, you're going to need some t-shirts. You're going to need some heat transfer vinyl. Now I'm using the Caesar brand, Easy Pattern Plus, and I'm using Camo and Leopard. I already showed you guys how to use this type of vinyl. So if you haven't learned how to do it, go check that video out. Then we're going to use some black. Now this is my fave, HCV Ron. And you're also going to need your vinyl cutter. Don't know what it means to split vinyl and put it together and make it look like one image? Then you know what you got to do? You got to stick around. Okay, my crafting crafties, let's get into this image. Everything we need is in design space to make this image ourselves. So you're going to go to your text and then your font. The font we're going to be using is the Varsity font and it's the Cricut Design Space Varsity font. So now once we have our font, they have several, make sure you choose Varsity letter. Once we have our Varsity font on our canvas, we're going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to move this over, you know, for better visualization. So we're going to get this over and now I'm going to go ahead and make sure I unlock it so I can get my dimensions straight. And I'm just going to type in what we're going to be using for our image and it's going to be boy mom. Yes, I'm a boy mom. I have several boys. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so you guys can see it. And also, remember when you're doing your... Like, when you're making your fonts, make sure they are not always wide enough, but always the height is long enough. Because some fonts give you a short height, so then it looks crazy when you try to put it on, you know, your design, so you have to manipulate it. But make sure you make sure that your font height is high. So, we're going to change, we changed our font size to bold because it was on regular we wanted nice big and thick now i'm just gonna go ahead because remember i have the camouflage vinyl we're gonna go ahead and just change it just green because you guys know i like visualization so once we have that we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it and now we're gonna duplicate this twice you only need to duplicate it excuse me we're gonna duplicate this three times y'all you only need to duplicate it twice for your project but the third time i'm going to show you why in a minute so now okay this is good remember duplicating is giving you exact same measurements for your first cut the first thing you put out so now i change it to black i'm going to cover it you know just to make sure that it is exactly what i want because remember we have black and then we have our camo good to go right so it looks good so far. So now I am going to add a border. So to add a border, you're going to go to your shapes. You're going to go to your rectangle. And you're just going to make yourself a nice thin border. Something that, you know, covers the top and the bottom of your text. So this is good so far, right? We're going to just make, you know, uh, we got to... You got to make your shirt stand out, y'all. You, you know, you got to look like different. You want people to say, oh, my God, that shirt is so nice. So here we go. We have our two borders. We're going to, of course, the first border you do, you're going to make sure to duplicate so you can get the exact same height and width for your second border. It's always the easiest instead of trying to do two separate ones. So now we have our two borders in place. Looks good to me. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Let's just make sure it's nice and centered and everything is lined up, you know, accordingly. So it looks good so far, right? Now, here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to attach it because you this is going to be your one cut. You're going to do that twice. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to just get the visual for what we're doing. Remember, your green is the camo and your black is your black. So now. We're going to go ahead and 
take our black. Pay attention, y'all. We are going to remember this is for visualization purposes only. I'm just trying to give you a visual of what your actual project will look like once it's on your shirt. Y'all know I am a visual person. I gotta see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So you're gonna go to shapes, you're gonna go to rectangle, you're gonna make yourself a nice little skinny line. So we're going to make a nice little skinny line because it's going to go through our boy mom image on the bottom. So now we have a nice, nice size skinny rectangle line, right? And then we're going to go ahead and make sure it is centered as so. So now uh, it looks good, right? And we're going to go ahead and, okay, we just, you know, just make sure you center it. You can use the alignment to center it. We're going to go ahead and... Highlight, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to center it using an alignment. You see that? I went to align, I quick put center, and it put that little uh, line centered between the top and the bottom. Once we have that together, we're going to go ahead and hit slice. Now, remember, this is visualization purposes only. That's the last time I'm going to say this, y'all. Please pay attention. Please. So we're going to delete that little line, and now here we have our... Uh, boy and mom, this, remember this is our black vinyl, so we're just going to make sure that it is correct. Everything looks good. So now we're going to hide the top by going to contour, and you're going to go ahead and hide your top portions of that text we just did. You simply click it, and it will hide it, and there you go. So once we went and highlighted the top portion, we're going to bring this up, and now look at that, y'all. This is an actual visual of what, you know, your image is going to look like on your shirt. Remember, the green is our camouflage, and the black is our black. What y'all think? I like it. I like it a lot. Now, if you're not comfortable with the slice and contour, you're going to have to visualize it in your mind. But if you are, you'll be good to go. So now, you know, I need a little more something extra, a little razzle-dazzle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my kids' names to it. So we're going to go to the text and then your font. And the font I'm using is the I Love Glitter font. If y'all don't have this font downloaded, please go ahead and download it. It is free and it's from the font. I've known you, I know you have seen it several times. So it's a nice, beautiful script font and you get those little glyphs with hearts. Now it's also a short font, meaning it's not that long in height. So I'm going to add my kids' names. So we got one kid. And then they get the shortcut for the heart. You're going to click shift and underline. Next kid. Mm -hmm. Again, for the heart, shortcut is going to be shift and underline. And then there's the third baby right there. So now I'm going to change this to black. And now I'm going to add this right here to the bottom of my overall image that I'm putting together. I like how this came out so much. I just felt like, y'all know, I feel like it just needs a little extra something on the side. Just a little, give it a little something, something. So this looks good, right? Visualization, y'all. This is what your shirt will look like. Your green is camo and your black is your black. So now let's go ahead and put it on the shirt. T-shirt, of course, because this is going on a T-shirt. Now I'm going to put this on probably the gray shirt. Remember, I have two shirts, green and gray. But... I think it's going to look best on the gray shirt. Going to go ahead and let's just change our shirt sizing and colors. Perfect. That's the shirt. And now we're going to go ahead and put this over here. Now, look at that. That looks good. Okay, friends. Looks great. Let me make it a little, you know, bigger so we can see what we're working with. You got boy and mom. You have your kids' names. If you want to change this to girl mom, you could do whatever you want with it. I just give you guys the tools you need to get going in your crafty lives. So all of this is great. Love everything about it. There we go. This is our gray shirt. All came together. You have your image. Everything was made using Cricut Design Space. Remember, if you want to use the names in that I Love Glitter font that I just showed you guys, you're going to have to make sure you download it from the font and it is free now i'm going to take this off because remember that was just visual that's just what it was looking like so now you're going to go ahead and make sure you your boy mom with your borders 
you're going to make sure you duplicate that twice because that is the actual image that we will be splitting in half to make this whole thing come together and look cohesive. So, there we go. We will be putting it on our, you know, we're going to send it to our machine. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell. And come back for more friendly, I hope it's friendly, I hope it is instructional for you guys. And I hope you guys get a lot of these videos. And I want you guys to just, you know, make sure you come back and see what's going on around here over on the Crafty Closet. That's it. Remember, you're going to duplicate that twice. You got to make sure you stick around to the end to see how we split this in half and turn this entire thing into one cohesive image. As always, I appreciate you. Be well, my friend. I'm